Thank you, Wester. The Nigerian Export Promotion Council, NEPC, has reiterated its commitment to building capacity to bridge the skills gap existing in the leather industry. Southwest coordinator of the NEPC, Babatunde Faleke, reaffirmed this position at the completion of a capacity building program in Ibadan or your state. We have details in this report. Data shows that the leather industry in the country is worth more than 60 billion naira annually. Experts say the industry is a potential sector that Nigerians can unearth. It is against this backdrop that the NEPC led by its chief executive Olushegun Awolowo puts together this intervention program to address the challenges and enhance performance of the entire ladder value chain through capacity building and skills acquisition. The ultimate aim is to scale up production of finished leather products that can compete in the international market. This is just how we are planning to run our product development to market access. We are from zero level to be able to make bag, belt, wallet, purse, and quite a number of things from lack of knowledge about it at all. So some of them are already, for those who have graduated, Someone say he was able to buy for herself an industrial machine. I mean, that means it's impactful. So the next level is how to make them to have access to international market. I've discovered that in two weeks, so much can change. And the first thing that we try and change within our students is their mindset. Try and think more creatively, think more innovatively, and learn to take pause, take a step back and do some research before uh, jumping into um, trying to create a, a bag or a design. You need to think a lot about what you want to do. You need to conceptualize properly so that your ideas can crystallize before you then start making a sample or a prototype to then lead you into making a final product. The trainees are from various professions, educational background and states of the Federation, but they are all focused and building capacity in a sector where they believe Nigeria has a comparative advantage. As soon as I got this opportunity, I was psyched because it gives me uh, an opportunity to do this properly, the way it should be done, so that we can meet international standards. I'm passionate about um, young people changing the narrative. So I'm excited when I hear things from this training, like we should be setting up institutes for to train artisans and such, because that's the next thing. Of the people in this skill industry are not educated, and this is why the industry is not growing. Because you need to get that education and understand your business. Even when you get a good skill man, you understand he's not educated. So the business aspect he's lacking behind, and that's why you see they treat customer anyhow. But by the time we, the educated ones, comes in, we'll restructure that industry, and I believe we have a very long way to go, but if we youth can come together, we'll achieve that. This is the age for creativity. This is the age we would need to think outside the box. So apart from the skill gap, there are skill gap in the leather industry, leather works industry, a lot of skill gap. Yeah, but people are being taught now how to do it and not do, do it anyhow. Do it rightly and creating job, they're creating value. They're putting value addition in the leather industry for the purpose of export. This program by the NPC is aimed at creating a platform that will serve as a nucleus for a production hub for finished leather goods for export through the engagement of talented youth for two weeks in each quarter.